Hey guys, I know it's been a while since we had an OpenJS Grid release, but I think it's time for a 1.8 release. Uh, OpenJS Grid 1.8 will have some good information, some good bug fixes, uh, a couple features, but nothing big. This is not a big release. This is just kind of addressing one of the things. The first thing that you'll notice is that we have a new uh, default theme that I'm using. And this comes from kind of rewriting the CSS a little bit, making things easier. So part of that CSS actually is using the new the new uh, gradient call, which uh, basically accounts for every possible CSS3 way of writing gradients. So all the gradients I have in here are done that way. They're all universal. They should work on cross browsers now that support CSS3 gradients, so it's a lot nicer now. Um, I've also did some CSS in here because people really wanted these separators between uh, these columns, so those are there now. I've also widened the blocks between the, the resizer blocks, so those are a little bit wider too. So just part of the default theme, and I'll probably start releasing themes, full theme files that you guys can use because I'm finding that people don't really want to uh, write their own CSS. Okay, so that, um, let's go through the list here of other changes. Um, I fixed the apostrophe quote error that we were having. Uh, it was talked about in the issue tracker uh, over... I don't even know where it is anymore. Let's go back to it. OpenJS issue tracker. Alright, so I've been correcting a lot of stuff in here. Um, it, you'll see, though, that the input gets cut off. That was a display problem. There was also a problem in actually submitting things with quotes in them. That is now fixed. So a lot of quote fixes, um, which are awesome. So now you can store stuff like, you know, Sean's codes uh, quote, you know, with a quote. And it should save that. Cool. Uh, great. Now, a couple other things that we added. Let's go back to our edit. Um, oh yeah, this is a big one. Warn before uh, refreshing. So what that means is not really refreshing. I didn't actually add it for that. Maybe I should. But if you, let's say you're sorting by this. You're like, okay, cool. But let's say that you add some changes and you click the sort button by accident. Now it'll actually pop up and say, you have unsaved changes on the grid. If you continue, those changes will be lost and you can cancel this. So basically before, if you didn't have that, um, as soon as you click this, you would lose your changes. So now it'll actually let, let you know before you lose your changes. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's a flag that you can set. Um, a new flag called uh, confirm before sort. So that's a new flag that you, can, that you guys can set. Uh, we have some more changes. Firefox had a bug fix with the white background on the drop-down. That's been fixed. There's a new method called export as JSON. And this is going to kind of open up to what I'm going to do in the future is allowing exports for this to Excel and CSV files. Uh, this actually was already in the grid. It was just kind of hidden from you guys. But now there's a method for it. So if I go to my index page and I add my load complete handler and I just use grid.export as JSON. If I uh, console.log that JSON now, I can view developer, developer tools. I can refresh and you can see that I now have an object and I can see that I've got all of the rows or all the columns of my grid and then inside of each of these there's a new object that actually has each of the values so uh, you would have discount code uh, and you would loop through the rows and then your row dot value would be the row and so that's actually how you do that so now you can ha actually have this object this object has always existed though and if you guys are ever curious about about the objects on the grid really this object is in grid dot data so if I actually console.log grid.data and developers really pay attention here this is where everything is okay this is everything about the grid if I can okay so I've got all the listeners and everything I've got the columns used I've got the column options being applied uh, and then down here is row data which is the same I'm just echoing this data row out but this is this is all the data on the grid that's currently showing currently showing it shows you the total rows, it shows you the current width, all the options. So this is actually, it tells you whether it's loading or not, whether it's full screen or not. 
Anyway, this is everything about the grid. So developers take note of this object, very important object. I use it throughout the whole code, which is why it's there. Um, what else? Drag handle, drag handle bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said that. I made this bigger. Whatever. That's really not a big of a change. I don't know why I write that. Uh, and I deleted a lot of unneeded lines and stuff. Another thing that I didn't I forgot to add is text area has been added. So this was submitted by uh, someone on the issue tracker, and their name is in the code if you want to see who it was. But they've actually added this, which allows you to have a text area. And so it's really nice. You can now have uh, full text areas and, and save those back to the grid, which is pretty cool. I haven't made it... Um, well, I guess it doesn't save new lines yet, <laughs> so I'll work on that. But it'll work, uh, and we'll have text areas pretty soon, so which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that is the new grid, and it'll be released. Well, by the time you watch this, it'll be available. So have fun with that, and then we'll have major releases coming soon, version two, with some new editing features, some pop-up editing, and stuff like that, and and hopefully subgrids as soon as I get to them. <laughs> So thanks, guys. Thanks for downloading. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we've had over 3,000 downloads for OpenJS Grid. So thank you so much for all the downloads and people communicating about it. It's been great. Uh, and we'll keep developing on it and making this the best uh, jQuery data grid ever. Thanks a lot.